with Martin Luther King's legacy is the most important legacy of ideas that the 20th century produced. That is the notion that the world's problems can be solved nonviolently. Now, Martin Luther King, when he gave that speech, he was, he was really addressing it past the immediate audience. And he was talking about the need to connect reality with the ideals of this country. But I think right here in Silicon Valley is the site of the greatest communications revolution the world has ever seen. And we should ver be very proud of, of what this area has meant to the world. But I think we would be even prouder if somehow there was a connection between these two ideas. That is, take the greatest message of the 20th century and connect it with the greatest communications revolution. Got a little book with pages three. March on Washington and Dr. King's speech, uh, we really have to say to ourselves, have we reached the dream? We know that we haven't. We know that there is so much institutional racism still today. And here in California, you know, we consider ourselves a very progressive state. When we think about what we have done in this state, you know, we got rid of affirmative action. When we see the number of incarcerations that we have in our state of California, more than any other state, more than any other state, we have more young people of color, black, brown, and poor white, than any other state in the United States of America. We have to reflect on this. When we look around and we reflect, we do see that we have so much work still to do if we're really going to make uh, Dr. King's legacy a, a live legacy. One man, one vote is the African cry. It is ours, too. It must be ours. 1963, a great shout for freedom reverberated across the land. It was a shout which awoke the consciences of millions of white Americans and caused them to examine themselves and to consider the plight of 20 million black disinherited brothers. We shall overcome.